Hi viewers, in this video let's see the introduction about the geometric design of highways. First, importance of geometric design. Geometric design of highways deals with the dimensions and layout of visible features of the highway such as horizontal and vertical alignments, side distance and intersections. It is important to plan and design the geometric features to the road during the initial alignment itself, taking into consideration the future growth of the traffic flow and possibility of road being upgraded to a higher category or to a higher design speed standards at a later stage. Now let's see the geometric design of highway deals with falling elements. That is cross-section elements, side distance considerations, horizontal alignment details, vertical alignment details, intersection elements. Under cross-section elements, the considerations for width of pavement, formation and land, the surface characteristics and cross slope of pavement are included. The side distance or clear distance visible ahead of a driver at horizontal and vertical curves and at intersections govern the safe movements of vehicles. The change in the road directions are made possible by introducing horizontal curves. Super elevation is provided by raising the outer edge of the pavement with respect to the inner edge to contract part to the centrifugal force developed on a vehicle traversing a horizontal curve. Extra width of the pavement is also provided on the horizontal curve. In order to introduce centrifugal force and the super elevation gradually, transition curves are introduced between the straight and circular curves. The gradients and vertical curves are introduced on the vertical alignment of a highway. Design of road intersections with futures for safe and efficient traffic movement of vehicles need educate knowledge of traffic engineering. And here we see the factors which control the geometric design requirements are speed, road user and vehicular characteristics, design traffic, traffic capacity and benefit cost considerations. The geometric design of highways depends on several design factors. The important factors which control the geometric elements are design speed. First, let's see the design speed. The design speed is the most important factor controlling the geometric design elements of highways. Design of almost every geometric design element of a road is dependent on the design speed. For example, the requirements of the pavement surface, surface characteristics, the cross-section elements of the road such as width and clearance requirements, the side distance requirements are decided based on the design speed of the road. Also, the horizontal elements such as radius of curve, super elevation, transition, curve length and vertical alignment such as gradient, length of summit and valley curves depends mainly on the design speed on the road. And next one is topography or terrain. The topography or the terrain conditions influence the geometric design of highway significantly. The terrains are classified based on the general so slope of the country across the alignment as plain rolling, mountainous and steep terrains as given. And next we see about the traffic factors. The traffic factors associated with the traffic geometric design of roads are the vehicular characteristics and human characteristics of road users. The different vehicle classes such as passenger cars, buses, trucks, motorcycles and various other types of non-monitorized vehicles are different speed and acceleration characteristics. Apart from having different dimensions and weights, 
the important human factors which affect the traffic behavior include the physical and mental and psychological factors of drivers and pedestrians these all comes under traffic factors and next we see about design early volume and capacity the traffic flow or volume keeps fluctuating with time from from a low value during certain of peak hours to the high flow during the peak hours it will be uneconomical to design the roadway facilities for the peak peak traffic flow or the highest or early traffic volume therefore a reasonable value of traffic volume is decided for the design and it's and this is called the design early volume and the ratio of volume of capacity affects the level of service of road and the final one that is environmental and other factors the environmental factors such as landscaping air pollution noise pollution and other local conditions should be given due to consideration in the design of road geometrics some of the high speed highways and expressways and design designed for higher speed standards and uninterrupted flow of vehicles by providing control access and grade separation grade separated intersection so now we have seen about the introduction topic and in the next video we will go in brief thank you for watching this video.